Hello everyone, Mr. Merkage here and today I'm going to be doing a little bit extra on the login series and I'm just going to be showing you how to create like a little tick box so when it's t uh, checked it will actually save the, uh, the settings in the text box so you don't have to keep typing it out each time you want to log in and open the software and also I'll just be showing you a few things in general which will make it a little bit neater and stress free to use. Uh, so yeah, let's get started with this. Um, you want to just come to the login form. You don't really want to do it on the register form, but you just want to get a bit more room. Um, bring these two buttons down, and you want to create a uh, a checkbox, which is here. So I have to double click that, and just drag that there. And we'll just rename this to uh, Remember Me, like that and you can get these buttons again and let's move them up a little bit and shorten this and also when if if we run the tool if I press the start you can see that if I was to put my mouse down here I'm able to move this like this move the actual outline of the program which it's not very nice. We don't we don't want that. We want it to be locked. So basically, if you click on the form, come in the properties, and you just want to find um, where is it? Oh, while I'm here, and I don't forget, we also want to change the start position to center screen, and we'll do the same for the register in a second. Uh, but what we're looking for is we can the maximize box we can make that to false and the minimize box we can make that to false as well um, we can also come in here what am I looking for I totally forgot we are looking for form border style wherever that is there we go so you can see it's sizable just change it to fixed single and now if we run that you'll see that we can't like it doesn't allow us to resize this thing also we got rid of these two buttons so this title is able to not be uh, cut off or anything we don't actually need the maximize or minimize as this is the size for this so if we close that um, we'll just quickly go to the register tab and change a couple things in here so it's the same uh, all the style Fix single, and we'll also just just change the start position to center screen, and also do the maximize and minimize box to false. Oops. So yeah, let's leave that as that. And now back to what we was originally doing. Uh, let's go into the code. Uh, I believe it's form one, and if we go into well, let let's double double click the form so we get form load, and you'll see where it says load up here. If you uh, come down in this drop down tab, we want to look for form closing. So go up to F, and you want to find form closing, and uh, tick that so it loads the form closing function. Uh, but if not, you can obviously just type out this yourself. Inside here, we just want to say if checkbox1.checked is equal to true, checked is equal to true, then basically you want to do my dot settings dot save, pretty much. So that will save everything. And underneath here, we just want if checkbox1 dot checked is equal to false then we just want to reset it so it's not saved so we we just do the same sort of the same thing my dot settings dot save and um, sorry not save we just want reset like that 
Um, but if we was to open this, type something in, click remember me, and just say if we shut the thing, uh, like that, if we was to reopen it, nothing would save in these boxes because we actually have to do something on the text boxes real quick. So if you come into the form one, click on the text box. Now if you scroll down to um, application settings and press a little plus sign, uh, if you just click here, you'll in property binding and uh, click on this little three dots here. It will bring up this uh, box here. So where it says text, you want to put down this tab uh, here, and you should be given this sort of screen. And we just want to click on new and inside name just call this username and press OK. Press OK and now just do the same thing for the other text box. Uh, so again application settings, property bindings and create a new one and just call this password. Press OK. OK. Now if we was to open this, type in user uh, what was our password test I believe and password pass this remember me now log in like that if I was to close that start it up again as you can see now it's saved now if I don't tick this and close it open it up there you go it's not saved so that's how that sort of works and also you might notice that if we type in the password box we can actually see what we're typing which usually with password boxes you don't want to see so if you click on the text box again and we just want to look for the password character uh, which is in here somewhere password character now this can be what you want but usually we'll just do the little star and if we was to open that again if we type in this password box we cannot see what we're typing now, so that's another little thing some of you may want. So yeah, that's all really. I just wanted to show you a little, a few more little things, um, which make it a tiny bit better and not so bad looking. But again, this is going to be the end of the series for the login system anyway. Uh, so if you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you next time.